God bestows common grace on everybody because that, that way He can bestow His blessings, physical, spiritual, mental and material blessings on all mankind including those, including those who reject Christ. That is the meaning of Matthew 5.45, sends the rain and the sun upon the good and the evil. See, God bestows his blessings. That's common, bless common grace. If there was no such thing as common grace, in what way can God bless the, uh, the wrongdoer? In what way can God bless the sinner? The sinner will have no claim to any blessing. Thank God that God has decided that he will not only save, but he will also, for those that, have, that will not come to salvation, that refuse to come to salvation, he will sustain them by his grace, by his goodness and by his love, through common grace, that he will also bless them in a certain way. So God blesses them even, spirit, soul and body, in every way, as much as they could be blessed because God loves them and cares for them, wants them to come to the knowledge of Christ so that he can show these blessings to them and through those blessings at least they will know God. They will one day realize that there is a God. God's intention is not only to save us, but to save the whole creation and restore the creation back to himself. God's intention is not to build just a church, but a great society. And how is a society built? It is built through families. It is built through our institutions and so on. So we are kept in the, here in this world so that we can build a great society, you know. We are kept in this world so that we can show what the kingdom of God is like and what happens when God rules over people's lives. And we can show what kind of blessings belong to the saved, you know. So, understanding common grace is so important. Common grace helps us to respect other people in the world. 